be a case of uh, mitral stenosis, rheumatic origin with the mitral valve area disparity between pressure half time and planimetry. Pressure half time the area is around 1 while under planimetry done on a 2D and a 3D the mitral valve area is more than 1.4. Why there is a disparity? I am going to show you that. The commonest reason for disparity of between the two parameters is severe concomitant mitral regurgitation. As in this case, we had a severe mitral regurgitation entering from the veins and encircling uh, the left atrium. So we have a recent data published on 2024 where say that concomitant uh, mitral regurgitation leads to underestimation of the mitral valve area by pressure half time and they did 72 patients in this study. Concomitant AR also leads to the, the uh, overestimation of the mitral valve area. Now, uh, just passing reference, this was the, pa the same patient having a tricuspid regurgitation which appeared mild on this color Doppler view, but it appeared moderate to severe. What, what happened, uh, the, what did we did was the, the initial scanning was with a very high Nyquist limit, 82 centimeter per second, but recommendation is the Nyquist limit for valve regurgitation assessment is, should be between 40 to 50 centimeters per second. To wrap up, I'm going to show you a three-dimensional echo of uh, end phase of the mitral valve. You see the mitral valve is opening and that's the mitral valve area. This is the ventricle side, this is the atrial side. And then it does not co-opt fully at even at the end of the systole, leaving a gap from where the regurgitation was present.